Now, what do you reckon? No, that's not up there. I was going to say, should we chuck some... My daughter said to me she actually doesn't have to chuck an axe up in there. She chucks a bloody stone up there. She just picks up a stone and chucks it. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. Sometimes these kids pick up some interesting ideas. Wouldn't even think about throwing a rock up there. Let's go back up to our camping place. Best part about this is this is our our landmark. So just past this, as you know, is our campsite. Look at that. Feels so good. We've got a home to get to. Um, we haven't picked up anything to eat yet, have we? No. Okay. We should probably get that little cat. Let's get that little cat. Let's see if we can find that little sucker. I can hear him. Most of the time you see them before you... Oh, here we go. That might be a herb plant. Let's move that around a bit. Looks a little special to be nothing. It's probably one of the new ones. Yeah, look at that unknown herb. And we knew that was going to happen. That's why I know, we made a back up for the last time. Sorry. I'll make another one now. And we won't because we don't have any stones. So let's make a st get a stone from somewhere. And here's a carcass. Pull the maggots. Let's get some maggots. Gotta love the maggots. Let's grab that bone too, just in case we get infected. Oh, sorry, a worm from falling asleep on the ground, passing out, passing out as it were. Hmm. Let's see. Where would a rock? Well, if I was a rock, where would I be? Side of a riverbank, normally. Let's have a look. Where is Dwayne Johnson? He is around here somewhere, and the noise it makes when you're walking through mud is is great. The game designers have really put a bit of effort into realism in this thing. Um, ah. That looks like a rock. And is there any snakes around? Because usually that happens when I look at things that I need. There we go. Nope, it's not going to be there. Let's harvest that. Make ourselves an implement. Survival craft. And where do I put it? There it is. A axamaroodle. There we go. Now there is a better axe. There's, uh, instead of pick up stone, you pick up some obsidian. It looks like a pretty crappy looking thing, but it's a lot more hard wearing, a lot more durability. This one is almost half now because I'm getting better at making them. Every time you make one, it gets better. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous video or stream, is that another rock? Because if it is, I'm going to harvest that as well. Again, I haven't lost track of what I was going for. I just haven't seen any. Palm trees or trees with coconuts in them. Let's go back up here. Where's that big tree? Ah, there's my camp. Good. I'm just so wary of losing my camp. It's, yeah. Me and orientation. I wish there was a... See, there's no map in the game yet. If you hit notebook you'll notice that map is grayed out they haven't done it yet so i'm guessing once they do have that you'll have the ability to put down markers and then maybe see where you are make it a bit easier to find home instead of being lost in a jungle whoa if I had the right weapon and he stood still i probably would have got him now, i'm not familiar with that noise Whatever that was. There's been a few creatures added to the game. <gasps> Got him. Added to the game. I'm yet to encounter them. Well, actually, to say, I have encountered a... Um, like a... A blade. Um, I have come across a couple of the new ones. Such as... Um, a little armadillo, which, mind you, makes a horrendous noise. So... You realise that you're near one. It usually scares a life out of it because this little rock just runs off and makes a squealing noise. 
usually when it's all nice and calm and you walk it along nice nice and quietly uh, so we've got no more room for this we do want that back, however and we want to go back into that so I'll tell you what now we've got that let's go back up and cook that up because we are probably right out of no oh no we're not too bad we're right out of hydration no we won't go back okay ah there's one yeah you'd think so well uh, as I was mentioning before there is however a um, a discovery side of things in this game where uh, you know you, you discover things you can build I have a sinking suspicion that when they do bring the map in it's not going to be something that you just get straight off the cuff I think it's going to be something we need to um, find somewhere first get used to where it is and then um, yeah possibly possibly use it from there eat and eat and that looks like that's not good all right where were we let's go back up actually did I I dropped those didn't I I did we need to make room for them what have we got oh there's the plank I knew I had a plank don't need it now though uh, take can I take that I can take that I can however just pick the plank up and walk with it I think no I can't okay let's go back up to my little camp let's see if I lost myself again I oh, know that's a tree so I can't be too far away let's see if the fire's still going oh there's also an ant hill here somewhere so there we go fire's still going let's stoke it I think they do actually expire just uh, just through time anyway uh, find the right key put a little bit more wood on the fire on the fire there we go let's put some meat on there that we got from that wonderful looking little animal looks like we're cooking bacon doesn't it a little icon there um, now uh, there is however another couple difference which is you know something obviously later on in the game that you find different camps you go to where you've got a a large fire from this one I think it's a stone ring fire to a large fire um, I don't think there's anything along the lines of it being a bonfire quite yet anything like the forest you probably can't cook anything on it anyway but there is however a drying rack so you can keep your meat preserved in a dry state make it into jerky and there's also a cooker oh that's a unwanted guest where are you oh shit there it is hey okay he's gone that's a little addition that one he must have smelt the food I think Maybe that's got something to do with his attraction, I don't know. I think he pats around here anyway, it's a, a patrol area for him. Thankfully it's not one that's for um, natives. Because that's one thing that don't leave, they tend to, if they do leave, and you find a native, not a good idea to let it run away because he runs off and gets friends and comes back with a heap more, so... Yeah, not always good. Not always good. Now, oh, that cook. I didn't even know I had like a medicine plant so close. Do I have a room for it? It's not a question. I do. Good. Have some more rain, and I've got nothing to gather it with. Oh, hang on. I picked up some coconuts. You fool. Let's put them down. Quick, quick, quick. All right. Probably not as many as I like. Six plus is always a good idea. Looks like we got some food. No, we haven't. No, it's still coming. What's he saying? Must rest. 
Let's have a look at our watch. Needs water. Also needs nuts. It needs carbs. We're going to eat. Just the meat at this stage. Nearly done. Of course, if I didn't make the shelter, we wouldn't be done. It'll be out. And if you leave it on the fire long enough, you actually burn your food, believe it or not. Let's eat that. What's that going to give me? Look at that. 80 proteins. So much energy, so much fat. And as you can see, my little ghost bar there, I like to call it. The bar has like a bit of a fill-up area that gets bigger. So let's do it again. You can see. No, no, it won't happen this time because I've have as much as I can I need to drink. So let's go and have some drinkies. Slight increase. That's yeah, still going up. Good. Now what else am I missing? I need some more car oh, not carbs. I need some more um yellow stuff, what's it called? Yellow is Carbs. It is carbs. Okay. Not getting carbs from meats, apparently. Pretty sure you don't get much from them anyway. And what time is it? Looks like it's getting dark. So we might sleep through. Uh, what's that? It's four o'clock ish. It's going to be getting a bit dark. So, um, a little bit of a sleep. This is probably a good idea to save the game. I might do that too. Let's save the game first. All right, because we're on a different day now, I'm pretty sure. What day are we up to? Only day two. Okay. Uh, let's have a bit of a sleep. I won't sleep for too long. It's going to be one in the morning. Oh, that's as far as we need to go. It is late. 11 o'clock. So we, you can actually uh, power sleep or chain sleep, I guess you could call it. You can sleep again. Um, I think what that will do is it will give me a different target on the sleep. Right up to 7 in the morning. So we'll go up to about 5. Or four thirty ish. Trouble is, of course, your health goes down in that time because you don't have much while you're sleeping. You're fasting, and of course, the the fire's gone as well. So let's get a look at charcoal and all the wonderful goodies you get from an old. And we'll put another one down if we've got the gear. Oh, don't want to hit it. We want to make it. Uh, Need some small sticks. Do I have enough to harvest? If I do that, I probably won't have any big ones to make the rest. We'll go cutting some trees down. Yep, so we're going to need some more sticks. Actually, there's probably a few lying around. That's a log. That's our stick problem all over. All the way through to the point where I don't need that much. I'd like to know what that noise is. The other thing too, as I was mentioning, the durability of these things, they're down to 21% 20, already on my four prong spear and I've got room for another. I'm going to make another spear because I know what's going to happen. I'm going to go out into the uh, wild blue yonder, well wild green yonder, and I'm going to have a spear that's going to break halfway through trying to kill something that's attacking me or that I'm trying to attack. So we're going to go get a large, large? We're going to get a long stick, a long stick, there we are. Uh, and we're going to drop that again because we weren't supposed to pick it up. We're going to go harvest, oh, sorry, craft. And we're going to put with that, I think it's a small sticks. Pretty sure, we'll just harvest that again. Just dropped everything. 
because apparently you can't harvest at the same time crafting. Uh, actually, we won't do that yet. We'll pick up all the other small sticks because I've dropped a heap of them. Yes, yeah, so I love the, um, the, the the log cabins you can get in um, in the forest. That was fun too. I made some decent log cabins up. Um, of course, they they have their own little little bugs where they don't have a um, a roof ending or sort of opened areas. You do have locks and windows and stuff. That's always fun. So we got one that's a thirty three and one at twenty one. So that's good. We'll have two things to attack if we need to. Let's pick up all these sticks. Um, but all of those games, they're all fantastic. They're all built around survival and uh, crafting and taming in some of them. At the moment, still, uh, my number one favourite is still Ark Survival Evolve because you evolve from having... Um, Depending on whether you've got Primitive Plus installed uh, from mud brick or just normal uh, thatch buildings, right through to metal buildings, uh, through to fabrication. And you can also pick up lots of wonderful dinosaurs, which are always attractive to the kids in the different colours and different levels. Flying, you can fly across the map out in the way. There's all sorts of stuff on that that's, that just keeps you, keeps you interested for ages. The only thing is, of course, as opposed to this being such a smaller game, a little bit more survival orientated not oh, got insomnia somehow um, it can get quite drawn after a while it can get a little a little too long in the tooth if it were if you didn't keep things interesting but have a sleep by the look of it uh, if you don't keep things interesting you um, yeah you'll lose your audience so I'm just a bit worried about you know, spending a bit too much time in something that you know I've played before. Great fun. Trying to keep people interested in it. Subnautica, again another one, Jim. A fantastic game. I played that all the way through in VR again. And uh, that, <laughs> in some respects, it's easy to maintain. Um, a lot of people know in the community at the moment um, there's no DLC for it, which I'm really surprised. Um, at this point, they're starting to bring through, I think, an ice area. Um, unknown fruit, that's always nice. Uh, as soon as you get things, there's, there's a, a place you get to, about halfway through, an island somewhere where you can get a thing called a, um, a watermelon or a melon plant, which is easy to replant. And once you've done that, your sustainability is pretty easy to keep going. Um, so it's not a, a survival-based... Well, it is supposed to be a survival-based thing, uh, if you don't know that, if you don't have that knowledge. Um, but uh, it's easier to survive on that one. Um, the dangerous stuff is about halfway to three-quarters of the way through when you start going deep. And that's reasonably scary. Um, the best parts are submarines and and uh, our prawn suit and all that sort of stuff that's brilliant um you're not really up against anything outside of the natural things that are on the planet there is you know uh as opposed to this game and on the forest you have got a lot of natural enemies uh unnatural in the forest being cannibals um but uh again there was a couple of things that i had to use the uh 2d4 because the 3D doesn't give you the bottom part of the screen properly, I think, or something. Uh, that may have been fixed. Um, it's been... Look, I'm going to hazard a guess, probably about... four months, maybe five months since I played that, so there's got to be a few more out, uh, updates since then uh, in just cleaning the game up and the fairness of the game, so... Um, it's It's got to be getting better, obviously, for that same reason, but... Uh, what are we out of now? Are we out of hydration again? And carbs. So we need to eat. Oh, sorry, drink. And we need to get coconuts. Or bananas. Bananas. Where are the bananas? Where is a banana palm? Banana palm. 
grab a rope. We're a bit low on ropes. Let's grab some ropes. Banana palm. You look like one, but you don't have... What the hell? There's a stick in the start inside that tree. Good. Yeah. Let's relieve the tree to stick. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, we'll leave that up there. Maybe we should head upwards. Let's go upwards and... Oh, there's a new bird. And that's a old enemy by the sound of it. Where are you? We'll take that bird. A toucan. Now that's a new one. Where are you? By the time I see him, he's probably got me pinned down. Where are you, little bugger? Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. If you had some way of being able to poison them or... Uh, well, not poison them, but at least knock them out. Like a trap. You can build traps that'll pin them down. But I'm a little away from that yet, because that's in one of the main cartels. That sounds like it's fairly close wherever it is. Oh, that sounds like a native. Down the bottom of that hill. How do you like that song? Let's have a listen for a while. I was going to say, or not. Well, that's a different song. See, in the early days, they only had one song, and it really got annoying after a while. They tend to have sang only the one tune. It wasn't quite catchy. Wouldn't have made the top 40 charts, I don't think. But um, it certainly got quite rhetorical. Where are you, little bugger? I want to eat you. Not the cannibal. Ah, uh, cannibal. Native. I don't think it's a cannibal. Who knows? He might be out to eat us. You can eat them. Oh, where is he? It's being a pain. Um, oh, there is a carcass. What was that there? And then is he over there? Um, you don't want to eat them, though. No. Uh, the only th good thing about the flesh from the natives is being able to trap animals with them as a as a carrot, as such. You know, like to put it in the trap. Um, let's get the higher ground here. Come on, you kitty, kitty. Uh, your insanity drops dramatically once you eat it. Uh, not not even cooked. You know, you, everyone goes there. Everyone wants to try it out. I, I did. I thought, well, let's give it a try. Let's let's save it and give it a try. And I thought, well, this is going to be good. And my insanity drops. I think you lose about twenty-five or thirty insanity, which I think the total amount of sanity is like fifty, or maybe seventy-five. It's not a hundred, I don't think. Or if it is, it's quite a lot of sanity you lose. Um, and you haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure you understand there's quite a bit to put insanity back in. I'll be able to regain your sanity back. A lot of cooking, a lot of sleeping, a lot of fireplaces. I don't know where he's gone. I think he's given up on me. Let's have a look further down here. Where's that big tree? Have I gone too far? No, there we are. There's a big tree there, so I'm not too far from my camp. That's a snake, I think. But we'll leave that. I think we're going to need to go get some more energy up. Let's go back home. In fact, you know what? Let's have some... Oh, oh that is a snake. Where are you, bugger? Oh, right next to me. Nowhere near my camp, buddy o pal. Yeah, tablet thing. I, I noticed there was actually a, a couple of posts from the forums, the official forums, which I was associated with when it came out, because as soon as it hit the market as a full release, I played it. And so I was part of that community. Um, and there was a couple of people saying that they refused to play the game, mainly because the menu was too close to them and they got some sort of disorientation. I think that's what you're talking about with being able to focus or whatever. Um, I didn't find that. I mean, it, yeah, it wasn't quite natural. It didn't feel quite right, but it was still playable for me. So I, I continue to do so. Might be also why I'm wearing why I'm wearing glasses now, but 
Um, I didn't have too much trouble with it. The other thing also is, is that after playing it, I'm not sure how long you played it for, Jim, but after you played it for a little while, you sort of understood what that menu meant anyway, without having to actually read the words. Um, and so I just continued on, you know, just uh, cracked on with it and put up with it for a while, hoping that they would change it. But yeah, like you're saying before, they didn't do anything about it. They may have already. On it. When's the last time you played uh, Subnautica? Um, as I said, I think it's oh, got to be at least about five or six months for me. There's got to be a few patches since then. Uh, let's light this fire up. What the fire go out? Um, yeah, it's been a little while. Played a few hours, yeah, a couple of hours. Uh, let's see if I can find something to light this with. That's when we didn't get anything to light it with. Oh, okay. I swear again. Oh. This guy's so full of profanities, it's not funny. Uh, let's find a dead leaf or something. Or dead leaves. Let's go for light this fire back up, get some to eat. There we go, some over here, I think they're dead. Uh, they look pretty green to me. It's over here. Oh, some lava. Mr. Larva Larva. Always good for uh, uh, protein. Mind you, your character doesn't like eating them. I guess it's probably not really a, um, a native thing for this character. It's a fairly big westerner uh, here in Australia. Larva or um, things like witchetty grubs. You might have heard of before. Yibbida yibbida. They, um, they're quite eatable, they're like peanuts, um, and uh, the natives here love that sort of thing and have put us onto that. Quick smart, and again, like really good with protein. Where is all the dead leaves in this joint? Or a nest of some kind would be nice. You know what, I think someone was saying to me last time I asked that question in the forums, dead leaves are generally always on the hill. I'm going to take that fruit. Right. Um, so let's go up a bit higher. Closer to the sun, quicker to dry. Makes sense. Mind you, the engine, I'm not sure, really does associate that kind of logic. Uh, that's why I didn't want to go too far, because that sounds like my little friend. Oh, oh. Yeah, that was a shot right in the head just when I seen a green leaf let's make sure we do something about ourselves before we go anywhere what is that ah, okay cool let's put a bandage on surely he yeah he did look at that and that that looks terrible let's spin it around Ooh, that's got to hurt all right, let's put a, a, uh, a bandage on. It looks like I've used them all, so we have to craft some more before I bleed to death. There you go. You're going to go up now? Missing. Ah, oh, lots of proteins. I'm gonna have to eat this guy straight away. Oh, let's get down the hill. Oh. Come back here, kitty. Now, the other thing that they haven't done on this one quite yet, which they. There's another one. Are you kidding me? I want my spear. The reason why I can't find my spear is because I don't have one. Although I do remember making two. So let's go four. There we are. Where are you, bitch? Go on. I think we might leave that other spear behind. I don't know where it went to. Always a good idea in this game to take the spear out first. I found, because sometimes it just falls through the world. Or it just disappears like that. So let's go back to camp. Hoping that we won't step on any sneakies. 
Where's that big tree? Oh, that's another one? Where are you? Don't have any bandages, do I? Now I can hear my heartbeat. I do. Craft. Quick, 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 you're gonna die! Did he get me? You got me. Ah. You got me, Jim. I got ganged by two cats. That doesn't happen very often at all. Unless, of course, because they've been an addition cat. There's more of them than there used to be. Because I think when we first played it, I think I was lucky to kill maybe one or two of the things for four or five hours and that time is two together I think I know where to find some more food up on the hill yes eight months is a fair while ago might be the same for me I lose track of time when it comes to these games thank god I saved it uh, That's my. Uh, that's, I think, nuts, no, not meat. Meat is going to be the red thing, so. I need to find some more nuts. A little bit more water is always good. In the main cartel, there is a pot. Big. Uh, um, lobster. Crayfish pot, not a crayfish pot as in catching one, but the size you could put a crayfish in, that gives you 30 hydration when you leave it out in the, out in the weather, which we need to find. Uh, what have I got as far as weapons go? I can't remember. What did I make? One spear at 21%. That's right, I think I made another spear, didn't I? Straight after I saved it. And a long stick. Long stick. And a rope. Okay. We have no energy, so we're going to go have a bit of a sleep. energy levels up. Get up at 2 o'clock in the morning. That's not so bad. I'll get daylight pretty quickly after that. Alright. Build another fire while we're waiting for the sun to come up. I'll take all that charcoal and that ash. Thank you very much. What a shame you can't aim, hold, down, block. You can't extract or destroy an old fire. You have to let it run until it runs its life, I think. So it turns into ash like my last one just did. Which is a bit of a shame. Because when you put things down the wrong place, you're just going to get all the stuff again. Alright, let's build another fire under my shield. Note to fire. Yeah, yeah. Another bug. So we can fix that one. Place things down and it starts attacking it, which I think is probably a good thing that doesn't actually... You can't actually get rid of something that way. Here we go. Another fire. Shall we have it lit? Do we have anything to burn? I don't really have anything to eat, do we? Oh, we do. Let's, uh, let's make something to... Let's cook something up. Oh, hang on. Did I get dry? That's what we're doing. We're getting dry leaves. That's what we're doing. When we got attacked. 
Mm, do I want to go up there to get it? Not really. Not a safe place to go. So let's try a different area, like down here. It's such a shame you can't harvest a small stick. Well, I'm sure you can't. Let's have a look. No. Destroy. It just gets rid of it. It does. Yeah. Um, you can't um, make shavings out of it, like for bark or whatever else, to, to start the fire. Um, I don't think that would be unrealistic. And from the sticks on the ground. I think that would be um, an appropriate addition. How am I coming through at the moment, Jimbo? Is the sound okay in the um, in the frames? I'm not dropping any frames. I'm not lagging, I hope, to you. Be a good test to you, being that you're uh, the other side of the world. Of course, if you're still up, I might have just put you to sleep. This game can do that to you. Come on, where's a bird's nest or something? It's like I'm, I'm doomed to go on the top of the hill to get something. All sorts of weird and wonderful noises that I don't really want to know about. I guess it's probably. I probably should have made a bow and arrow. Which, mind you, I know how to make because I've done it before. Um, you learn that as you find it in one of the native camps, of all things. There's a couple of native camps as well around the place. Equally, it's hard to find anything that's uh, dead. As far as dry leaves go in the dark than there is to find anyway uh, it's not like we can just go out the front and pick up the morning paper or we'll lose use some blue paper no worries mate thanks for coming along buddy um, I'm pro probably gonna wrap it up anyway fairly soon once I get this fire going um, it's getting close to 11 here so um, this is probably one of the longest ones I've done so I'm going to go away from that guy because I don't want anything to do with the tiger right now. Well, actually, he's going to go after me. Okay. All right, bud. Have a good day or afternoon or whatever else, mate. I'll, um, I'll catch up with you on Casper's hopefully tomorrow morning if he's going to cast uh, with a bit of luck. Uh, or some other time. Thanks for coming, buddy. Still, where's his unwanted carriers? Ah, oh, that's right. Don't think I've got any. I no, don't. Craft. Craft.
we go. Tell me there's no pumas around. Where you going? Yes! Yes! Oh, waiting for my puma meat. drink while we're waiting. Uh, it's not picking them up anymore. Can't put it on the fire. That sort of makes sense. You can't really put a coconut on the fire.
let's save it. Yes. Let's see what happens when we eat that. It just makes you crook. Huh? Lots of carbs? Oh, ah, yeah, it makes you crook. Alright. Don't eat them either. Give us a food poison. Okay, so I can't eat that. All right. Alright, I think that's going to be it. I'm going to wrap it up there. Peeps, I'm sorry. Um, it's been a good uh, one, uh, one hour and 48 or nearly two hour stream. That's uh, probably my longest yet. Um, hopefully enjoyable enough to watch all the way through for two hours. Um, we will progress a little bit more on our next stream. Um, whether it'll be the Green Hell or forest, I'm not really sure. Might do a few other bits and pieces and may play a different game, maybe even Ark Survival of Old for a little while. See whether that uh, floats anyone's boat. Um, still a fantastic game, this one, and a good one to play right through, but a fairly good time consumer if you don't progress properly or you're as new as I am to it. Um, other than that, yeah, it's, it's, it's certainly good fun. Don't get me wrong. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we go for tomorrow. Um, we'll catch you up with the same uh, bat channel, the same bat time. Um, and yeah, um, hopefully with some more um, uh, gut-wrenching poisonings or even some more cat attacks like the last one. Hey guys, Batcher out here. Just a quick reminder that this is a YouTube that's been cut down from a um, Twitch live stream that could have been over two to two and a half hours long uh, which is way too long for segments and or episodes it makes it easier to follow if we have them down to 20 to 28 minutes like we have done on youtube you're certainly welcome to come back over to twitch when we do a live stream hit a follow keep an eye out for any kind of live streams coming along please come in have a chat i don't mind um, it's good to be able to answer a few questions if i know them or even just have a good old chat about the uh, life and weather um, so enjoy the youtubes they have been cut down uh, to make it a bit easier for you to follow um, and if you really feel like watching something that uh, could be over two and a half hours long, then you're more than welcome to come over and see it at the Twitch channel. But um, yeah, enjoy it on YouTube. We are on Twitch. Just thought I'd give you a quick reminder at the end of the video um, and come on over if you feel like you want to do so. We'll see you there.